Hi guys, I'm Kronos and welcome to Airport CEO. So, um, this game was literally very, well just recently, very recently, released to version 1.0. Um, and the devs were kind enough to give me a key, so I am going to check it out. So, uh, this is probably a little bit more in depth uh, than some of the other building games I've probably done. It's probably more along the lines of uh, like Prison Architect and things like that, where everything's kind of top down based, block based, um, and you've got to manage just about everything from security to where passengers go or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, let's just check it out. So, I have tried playing a tiny bit just to. Um, kind of get an idea of what the game is like um, so yeah because I was a little uh, kind of concerned about like how to really properly build an airport and stuff I don't really have a clue as, as you can probably guess um, let's go for box down the black I guess there we go okay uh, I don't think any of this really matters to be fair. Not much anyway. What kind of suit can we get? Oh, let's go for casual. There you go, look. That'll do. Right, so I don't really have a class name, so I'm just going to go like this and split my name in half. There we go, why not? Right, so this doesn't really give you any real indication. Uh, see, the, the, the tutorial could probably do with being a little bit more in depth in certain places. Like, I mean, I'm gonna make a Yorkshire one because that's that's you know where I am more or less. So let's go for uh, there you go Leeds. So I'm a, I'm actually a little south of there, but it doesn't let you kind of really do that lot. So it's like yeah, but yeah, it doesn't really say how these would um, kind of you know affect gameplay like this. It's like how many domestic airports are in the region and things like that. But yeah, hello guys, how you doing? But yes, I think I'm just going to build it there. Uh, so the airport name. There you are to the right. Oh, you mean uh, location-wise. <laughs> um, I'm actually just going to call it, like I was saying, I'm going to make a nice Yorkshire airport. So this, that's what it's going to be. Yorkshire Airport Airlines, or Yorkshire Airport. There we go. So, um... What can I put as this? Well, I'm more specifically West Yorkshire, so I guess I'll go like this. Uh, York, yeah, West Yorkshire Airport. Something like that. Oh, it only needs to be three. There. Yeah, there you go. West Yorkshire Airport. Alright, so this 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 will do. Let's see. What kind of logos have we got? Uh yeah, we'll go with that one. Um, so I don't really know what the difference is. Obviously, we like sandbox and the large maps. I'm going to go large map anyway, because why not? Um, so we are only going to do easy, because like I said, I played it and it looks complicated. Um, so we're just going to check it out anyway, so we're going to go easy. We get start with plenty of money. Um, and we'll be following the tutorial a little bit, at least um, after making uh, getting as far as commercial flights, because that's about as far as I got uh, playing it. I only played it for probably... I don't know, I played it for maybe an hour. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, so this is airport grounds. Uh, so, obviously, you can expand eventually. Uh, wow, wow, it costs quite a bit as well. 750,000. Um, but yes, looks like some obstructions like water and stuff does seem to be um, random. Have I ever tried Flight Simulator? No. I've watched people play it and it, I just don't think it'd be my thing, to be honest. It's like, it's like, um, yeah, it's like stuff like the Truck Simulators and stuff, Euro Truck Simulator that uh, I've seen a few people play and things. I don't think I'd really be able to get into it. Not, not really. So, yeah. But obviously you got all your menu panels, your dashboards for like your ratings and things obviously there's nothing really there at the moment so you've got like your expenditures and stuff uh, what kind of a a operations and things you can do obviously like closing the airport and things because obviously we haven't built anything yet and then um, yeah so this is the management tab if you push that so we've got an email from the government the governor I think was it the mayor there we go basically telling us good luck and all that stuff 
Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I, I, without without any real kind of goal, as it were, um, I, I'd, I'd I probably would get bored. Maybe not straight away, but yeah, I'd probably end up uh, playing it once as, as, and then kind of like having a bash round and be like, yeah, this looks gorgeous. This is this is all right, you know, this kind of thing. And then, yeah, <laughs> that's it basically. Um, so once you've signed your first uh, airline contract, yeah, that's all the flights and stuff, uh, the tutorial panels. So this is kind of sort of sort of like what we'll be building. Um, there we go. So we need a contractor. Um, oh, it's under contract. Yeah, remember, offer contracts. So we got HWY or Berkeley. But obviously, Berkeley seem to have. Ooh, that's even more than I could get in my little test play. And they're a lot cheaper as well. So why not? Um, yeah. So we got that one. So that's our contractors. Um, so we need to bring them over. Uh, let's just get all of them. Why not? I don't think we really need that many, but we'll get them all anyway. Like France or the US, and then at night. Yeah. Oh, so you've played it. So you know from experience how much patience and uh, whatnot it needs. <laughs> right, so we've got them. So we're just waiting for them to kind of show up. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, start building it pretty soon. Um, so we need a runway. I'm going to start with asphalt. You can do grass, but I'm just going to start straight up with asphalt, I think. Um, is that more or less even? Sort of, yeah. Right, we'll leave. You wanted to go to your own house? Okay. I didn't know you could do that. That's, that sounds kind of cool. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll try and leave maybe just enough for another runway in front of that. Uh, there we go, yeah. And then, uh, so we'll build that. So it's time to start building the runway and stuff. It says, look, wait for the construction, taxiways. So this this is all the stuff that I already knew about. I've already tried. Um, which is pretty awesome. So you need one there. You need one there. And then you need an actual taxiway. Or at least a uh, taxiway foundation to start with, apparently. And then, and then we want uh, stands, a few, a few little aircraft stands. Um, so they kind of tell you to just kind of put them straight on here. But I actually found it's a little bit better to actually do it kind of like this instead. And you actually get um, you actually get a good bit more space as well. Hang on, how many squares were that actually? I think it's five, isn't it? Taxiway Foundation. No, it's four. Four squares. Ooh, how come that's so small? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how come uh, I couldn't freaking see anything? Alright, so that's the, that's the taxiway. Um, and then I'll put some more stands on the other side. That'll allow us to get that many. Right. So, uh, eventually we'll probably have these as commercial. But these are all just going to be general aviation ones that there to start with. Um, am I paused? I'm not paused. I'm like, no, it's going. So that uh, so my workers are arriving, look. Along with the goods. So they, they're going to go build stuff pretty soon. Um, so we will need service vehicles as well. Um, and the taxi pathways. I think normally you have to wait until it's built, or at least you did. But it looks like in oh, that's going sideways. But in um, I think possibly in maybe in a, in a more one of the more recent patches uh, or updates to the game. Um, I think I made that small one. Yeah, this runway is not big enough. I was going to say because normally I have the taxi in right in the middle. Well, goddamn. Okay, I'm going to have to um, get rid of these, and I'll, I'll replace them down in a minute. <laughs> Uh, I have made the taxiway a little bit too small. It probably wouldn't matter, but yeah, it does to me. So yeah, there we go. 
Uh, so now this should run straight down the middle. Yes, that's much better. Much better. So it's going to be the same with that one. It's going to be a five. There we go. So this will be the same, straight down the middle. Now I can put my stands in. Actually, I need one, one tiny piece more. There we go. Connect all these. Oh, unpause the game. There we go. There we go. Just let them get that built a little bit. So we also need um, an air traffic control tower. Now it, it kind of tells you to put it here, but I can't be, I, 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 don't, it, I don't want it taking space up, so I'm gonna just put it next to the actual, uh, next to the actual runway. Um, and then one of the next things it actually tells us to do is kind of um, build like fuel lines and things. Uh, but I'm gonna stick to I'm going to have to put the road down for the oh, not public road, service road. Um, I think it only really needs to be two lanes. So it depends on how far I need to build, actually. I mean, there's the main road there. So it's a matter of where I want kind of the terminal building to be in regards to this. Uh, so we do need a bit more of public road up here but I don't want it to go too far because um, we need a terminal building pretty soon um, in fact I might not even build that bit there Oop. I thought I was trying to uh, delete the uh, delivery terminal right let's well let's just let's just get that built first and then we'll kind of go from there so we we'll built. So this needs to be built before it'll tell us what else to do. Uh, but it wants us to build uh, an airport terminal at a certain size. Otherwise, I'd probably get started on it already. Uh, one thing I will do actually is I'll start placing down a fence as well, because I want because uh, animals do st actually get onto the grounds. So I'm just going to follow the very outer edge. I don't know how far down I want it yet, so I'm going to have to just uh, kind of go a little bit down and then I'll extend it when I realise how far I've got to go. That was a little bit further probably. I mean somewhere around here probably is about right. Um, but I'll have to get rid of some for the terminal building. So it's just a little bit further I think. Yeah, I'll figure it out from there. Right, there we go. So, improve your, uh, your airside traffic flow set one runway ramp direction. I, I want this to be just one way. Um, so, coming out. And then this going in. There we go. Um, general aviation, yeah. So, we need a bit of turn that back on. Open the airport. Allow general aviation. So hopefully we should start getting some objects. Is not functional. Why not? It's all connected. Am I missing a piece of taxiway or something? Hmm. Open the room. Oh yeah. I need to turn the actual uh, general aviations on. Is it this one? That's oh, media. Oh, there you go. Open the runway. And then these wait for five. Oh, there you go. There we go. They're all on. Oh, and there's the first one already. It's because I had it in fast forward and another one. Let's see. let's watch them come in there and another one. So we'll start getting a little bit of money, but it's already cost us like half a million to build just this. Ridiculous amounts. Apparently, we're actually making a tiny bit of money now. So they're building the fence. See, so last time I just saw some random cows. There you go. Look, running across my airfield. So I was like, okay. 
There's at least one fence gate to make it easier for contractors to pass into certain areas of your airfield. Yep. So, I guess I'll go straight ahead and I'll just build um, the fence kind of probably about here-ish. Uh, leave enough space here for kind of some like runway taxis or something. In fact, I'll build it a little bit further down. About there. And I'll probably just have to remove a section uh, later on when I build the terminal. So we need some fence gates. Uh, I'm going to put them, put, put a couple on the edges. And then I'll put one near the checkpoint as well. Uh, so one will be here somewhere. Probably around here. Might as well put one on the other side as well. There we go. So we probably will have to remove a section there. Um, I think this is probably more than enough normal runway. Uh, right, so I'm going to need a vehicle checkpoint and then it's going to be service road after that. Um, is that correct? That's correct. So service road. So they're, they're, th this is the road that normal passengers are not allowed on. Uh, God damn it. Okay, let's get rid of that piece of wall. There we go. Hang on. There we go. Let them build all that. Okay. So, now it wants us to get like fuel and stuff kind of sorted out. Um, and all that kind of stuff. It's down. Nope, that's the thingy one. Airport infrastructure. There we go. Vehicle, vehicle depot. So we need that. Um, I don't know if this is the best spot actually for the turn. Uh, for the. Ah, oh, actually, I don't know if that's going to work. You know. See, these have more or less got to be attached to the terminal. Um, I might actually make my other my commercial flights on this side. I think this will be general aviation flights. So I'm gonna um, I'm still gonna put this down here. So that, that can go there, and then we need a fuel tank as well afterwards as well, um, like so. There we go. That's for refueling these. Wait for it all to get built. We've gone fast. So eventually it does tell us to kind of purchase a fuel vehicle. I don't know if it'll let us now. Yes, it will. Here we go. Let's order a fuel vehicle. Oh, apparently I need the depot to get finished building first. <laughs> Come on then. We've got 107 contractors, I'm sure they can build that f quickly enough. With plenty of supplies and everything. There we go, they actually built the fuel first, which is weird. So there we go, so now it wants us to buy a fuel. And wait for that to show up. Should show up down here. Yep, in 15 minutes. There we go. So obviously it's got to go through the checkpoint. I don't know why it won't let you put asphalt here though, it's a bit off-putting, but yeah. Right, so we've got that, so now we need a fuel supplier, so again it's uh, contracts, what is it under economy? Uh, it's probably going to be this one because it's the three star. 139 a litre, as if, uh, you know, it's 163, 146, 
Yeah, I think we're, I think we're obviously going with these. Wow, uh, the actual jet fuel is only 27 p a litre. Funny fuel will that cheap in real life. <laughs> So there it is, that's come to fill up. This can hold 20,000. Alright, so we can now enable that as well. Uh, fuel, uh, there it is. So now these can come and get fuel as well. Seems a bit strange that you'd actually land at an airport that wouldn't be able to refuel you. There we go, look. It's like you paid about 200 to get refueled. So yeah, at some point it probably will be ideal to have actually two of those. But there we go, and it just goes straight back to uh, his depot. So we need to refuel five. So he's done at least two anyway. Before it kind of lets us move on. That uh, wildlife trying to get in. They're like they've got. To be, they're there. Like there's got to be a gap here somewhere. I don't know why there'd be random cows trying to get onto the airfield though. Seems a little strange, if you ask me. To be honest though, considering we're literally only on day two, we've actually built a fair little bit already. <laughs> You'd think it'd take a lot longer to build an, uh, an airport, a runway and stuff, at, at least. I mean, a grass one, I could see kind of a grass airfield uh, being built pretty damn quick, because I mean, it's just grass, you know what I mean? Is that the fifth one? Yep, there we go. You now know the basics of uh, airport operation. Well, thank you very much. So it needs to be 25 by 15. That's what I was waiting for. I didn't really know exactly how big it was going to be. So I think we're probably actually going to build it over here. I did build it over here in mine. Uh, but um, I'll try to work out how to taxi people to the wrong way. And it turns out, you can you see the crosswalks here? Uh, that's how they actually get onto the uh, the landing pad. So they actually, I've, I've literally just realized um, when I was going to start planning it all out, that th th these have to be actually connected to the terminal building. Um, it's the only way for the passengers to actually get on board. Um, eventually you probably could have a bus service or something, but uh, for now, yeah, I'm not really sure. So. Uh, so we need to bear in mind that the the aircraft carriers uh, or the aircraft in in in, uh, in question have to actually be able to connect to the terminal. So let's build it um, pretty much anywhere around here, I guess, uh, up against this fence, so we can remove some of the fence. So it needs to be 15 by at least 25. There you go. That's going to be the terminal. And then you need bus stops and car stops. Um, oh, that puts these in the way. I, I, I want to move these, really. Because I, I want them to kind of stop outside the front of the airport. So ideally I need the road to kind of come this way. Um, I may have to shift these out of the way. Maybe I should have put the public road a little higher. Hmm... Can I move it? Can I just relocate that? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to do more stuff, I think. Move it up. I'll put them on the opposite side. I'm just going to move it up. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to demolish it. Uh, not maybe too far, though. Maybe up to about there. Um, I do need a bit of a gate on there, actually. In fact, yeah. I'm going to have to bring it all the way up, I think. In fact, no. I'll just bring the fence down a little bit. So, infrastructure, we need the gate check. And then switch this to public road. Oh, come on. There we go. Just have to bear with me while I kind of experiment a little bit. 
So, yeah. See, I don't think you can actually put a gate over there. Nah. So let's just build this down to uh, down to the checkpoint. Like so. I guess I'll put uh, a gate on this side. On this side. Just to make sure they can still get through. I think that's a gate there anyway. Yeah, it is. But there we go. So we've got a new checkpoint. So I'm just probably just going to move these up here. Um, where is it? There we go. Contractor site. So I'll probably put one on one side, one on the other side, something like that. Um, and then the delivery site. There we go. And then I can always get rid of these, I think. Hopefully. Please go to the other one. There we go. And this one. I mean, hopefully I can get rid of this, but I couldn't figure it out the last time I played. But uh, I guess eventually we'll kind of just cover it up. I mean, we can put concrete and shit down. But I don't think there's a way to put grass down. Maybe it re Oh, there you go. It regrew. Never mind. I was going to say maybe it regrows after a while. Right, so we're going to end up needing... Are they trapped inside? Yes, they are. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, so uh, let's. Uh, I guess we better put a couple of doorways down. Um, maybe somewhere in the middle ish. I'll leave a bit of a space. Um, in fact, how, how big is the big window? I'm going to put a big window in as well. There we go. Is that center ish? I think that actually might be center. Nice. Right, so we are going to need. Uh, a sidewalk that they can walk about on. So I'm literally just going to build one big sidewalk. What's that? Oh, it was just a bit of dirt, I guess. Um, and then this this stuff can actually be connected to it. So we got the bus stop. Uh, let's build it on the side. I shall build it on this side. Somewhere over here. Over here. Yeah, I'll put it there. That's right, so a bus stop. Uh, some bus shelters, so you can put bus shelters down somewhere for them to wait. There we go. And then there's a car stop um, for people to drop drop people off. Um, but I also want some taxiways as well. I think I'm going to build two of them actually. And then the taxi ones. So taxi spots. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put them right next to it, actually. Sod it. There we go. I mean, eventually I might move them over here, maybe. In fact, yeah, I'll do that. I'll put them over this side. So one square over there. So this can be a taxi spot. I'll probably build something nice here, maybe. Or, or keep the space for that. But anyway, there we go. So we're going to need public road. Um in here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to build it right to the end. There we go. Public road. Oh, here we go, look. Army of people. Small airfield achievement. What does that include? Turn around 25 aircraft in one day. Nice. Is look at the heat map for walkable areas. There you go. So they can all walk around there. So now we need to make a basic uh, like staff room and the like. Um, so you got staff, staff room, staff zone, uh, whatever you feel like. So let's. Um, well, actually, maybe I should kind of paint it out first. Hmm. I'm going to have to build a, well, a bunch of walls, you see. Let's build it. Um, I guess a year big. And probably up to this bit here. What am I placing down? That's not a wall, is it? 
Oh no, it's because of the stupid heat map. Let's get rid of the heat map. There we go, that's better. I can actually see what I'm doing now. Oh, I didn't know there was more stuff you could see. That's good. That's we are going to need a door. Just a small door will do. Thank you very much. Right. Um, so, this is going to be the staff room. Um, so it's a staff zone. I think the staff zone is basically the same thing. Um, but yes. So we need a few office desks. Um, I'll leave a bit of space to kind of make it look nice, I guess. Um, I'm not, probably not going to fill it completely up, but yeah. Let's put a good few down. So... I guess I'll start small and then I'll I'll fill it in later on. So let's um, put a few decorations in as well. So I've already tried doing this with mine. So you've got a few little things like palms and stuff and ferns. So obviously you can uh, give them something to look at. Uh, but ideally they need something to sit on. Give them a nice couch or something. them a nice modern couch, why not? Somewhere to relax. There we go. That's all it wants. Place a few desks and any type of seating. Just gotta wait for them to get built. There we go. Decorative team over putting some new floors. So they want me to uh, give them a nice staff room look. What should we go for? Maybe maybe a nice hardwood. Or a bit of carpet. Should we put a bit of carpet down? Mm. Let's go for a red carpet, why not? There you go, look. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So that's their uh, that's their little uh, staff room. Right, so now we need to... Before you can accept commercial air airlines and handle its passengers, we need a commercial license. Which basically, we need R&D staff. Oh, executive, oh, executive committee, I've never seen that before. Oh, that's the CEO, and then some other stuff. Okay. Applicants, there we go. So we need some administrators, preferably some really nice, decent ones. Um, so these is pretty much full. Obviously they're quite expensive, but there you go. The best staff usually is. Um, so why is that one more of a brownie colour? It's a bit weird. Who cares? Let's get get that one anyway. I want actually a good couple of administrators, so let's get this one as well. Um, Do with maybe one more. That's maybe quite nice. Over this one. Let's get this one. There we go. So we're all four. Oh, look, they're already hard at work as well. All right. So we need R and D. Where is? What does it come under operations? I'll eventually learn where everything kind of is placed um, as we kind of go. So commercial license. So this will allow us to get all these kind of uh, employees and research tabs and stuff. So there we go. Can have up to five people working on it, but obviously we've got four. So there we go. Keep it going quite nicely. What's this guy? Is it an administrator or what? Oh, it's me! <laughs> okay! I didn't even know that uh, apparently I walked around the airport. That's kind of cool. Yeah, just sit down while everybody else does the work. Eh? Right, and the next thing that they, uh, they want is bathrooms and stuff. For obvious reasons. Um, so let's build ourselves um, bathrooms. So I think I might as well place it here. So I'll try and make kind of a men's and women's bathroom, I guess. I don't know if it actually makes any difference, but uh, why not? We'll have a go. Right, so 
Um, Alright, I actually need to place down a bathroom square, that's fine. So, a lot of it probably won't be bathroom, and some of it will be. Um, cause I don't really know how to extend it once you place it down, um, other than kind of like, because if you drag again, it classes it as a different bathroom. So yeah. Anyway, we'll try. We'll try that. That's probably quite large. Um, but here we go. So obviously we need a good few cubicles in here. Um, question is, which one are we doing first? I could do with this being a bit bigger actually, so I can kind of rotate them about like that. Look, let's. Uh, is it going to delete all of it? No, it's not good. So let's go about a year big. Hit by five. Is that going to be big enough? That'll be big enough. That'll be big enough. We'll, f we'll figure it out soon. Right, anyway, so here we go. Oh, damn it. Not that one. There we go. Damn you. Controls could do with being a bit different. Right, so... We don't want any of these ones in this one. Um, so we want... I like to put at least probably equal sinks. But we probably don't need equal sinks. In fact, now let's... Um, damn it. Oh, come on. Let's, let's put sinks on one side and the dryers on the other side. Because why not? There we go. Plenty. In fact... I can't get rid of that one. Let's put some uh, plants in those corners. Make it look nice. Palms, banana. Put banana trees in. Why not? So we are going to need, obviously, a wall around it. And then I'll put one on the other side for men's. Looks like it's probably going to be about the same size. So what size is this one? 8 by 5 Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't really want it sticking out like this. Or maybe I should commit, could make the walkway a bit shorter then. Let's, can we get rid of that blueprint? There we go. Uh, here we go. Oh, it won't matter, will it? Because uh, I need the wall on the other side as well. Oh, I'll just put it next door to it, actually. It's fine, then. I'll just build it here instead. Uh, it's 8 by 5 There we go. Right, so this one, we'll just have half and half. Um, we have these. And we'll kind of do the same thing. Make sure they've got enough to wash and dry. While we're waiting for our uh, license to be researched. Let's put banana, no, let's put palm in these ones, why not? There we go. So we've got the amenities sorted as well. How far are we to the research on this? 58%. Let's speed it up a little bit. There we are. Planning mode. Is that it? Building tools. It says temp. Oh, there. Planning mode. Okay. Fair enough. Good idea. Project completed. Nice. Oh, we've got a few uh, things. Airport of the Year Awards. I don't think we'll be getting there. It says uh, we need a yearly passenger throughput of at least 10,000 passengers and a turnaround of at least 150 aircraft. And a rating of 95%. What's the other ones then? Performance reports. Send the CEO of a new airport. Okay. 
If you have had a CFO, end of its business day, they'll send you a report via email on your daily earnings and your performance against yesterday. Okay. Alright, so next we're looking at kind of checkouts, uh, check ins and checkouts. Um, so we need security checkpoints. But basically, half half of this terminal needs to kind of be separated into like secure area. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extend it from here. And uh, we'll have directly opposite the doors, the check in areas, I think. So this is going to become the secure area. See, they do kind of say that it's probably ideal to have uh, toilets kind of before the check-in and after the check-in because they're no doubt going to need the uh, facilities while they're waiting for their plane as well. So we'll probably have to build another toilet. I could probably just copy paste that, maybe. <laughs> but yes, that's we need a couple of check-in desks. Um, Walkerators. Okay, check-in desks. Where is it? is it? Oh, is it under... Oh, there. Desks. Alright. Information. Flight information. Checking desks. Right. Is it that way or the other way? That way. So we need a few check-ins, so... I don't think it really matters where these are, but obviously they are going to have to go through security after they're done. Um, so, maybe... I might leave enough room to kind of fancy it up a little bit, maybe later on. Um, so I'll build, I'll build it like somewhere about here. So we need a good couple of checkouts. That's actually not a bad little design there with the doubles and the uh, the kind of triple plants and stuff. So we'll do that as well. Why not? Let's go with a banana. We'll do it like that, and then the smaller ones. There we go. Yes, yeah, so they're going to check in, uh, queue there and check in. Right, and then obviously we've got to stop them from going into the other zone. Uh, which is the zone? No, that's not the zoning tool. Paintbrush. Which is the zoning tool? Oh, this one. Dope. That's that staff zone, that's secure zone. So this is where we've got to put these. So this whole zone is the security zone. There we go. So we need check in and check out, as it were, our security exits and entrances and exits. Oh, it's there as well. Look. Right, so these are to get inside. I think if there's only one variant, it should just automatically select it for you. It's a pain in the ass, otherwise. So. No, that's not quite centre, is it? Well, they are, anyway. That should be a little bit further over. <laughs> it's fine! I'll move it later. Or I'll just add a few more checking desks. Right. Um, yeah, I'll check in here and probably check out there. Well, security entrances and exits there. So we'll put at least a couple. And then the exit. Going out this way. There we go. A bit wider, isn't it? No, it's not. Is it? Maybe it is. It don't really matter. Right, so we've got that, so I'm going to need a bit of a wall in the middle there, or at least some sort of a fence or something. I don't think you can just put a fence there. I'll, I'll, I'll put a wall. See, what I'll probably do eventually is kind of like what we probably saw in one of the previous pictures is I'll kind of put a, like a wall here um, and then put um, kind of like make this this is kind of like a more nicer secure zone or something I'll figure it all out later on as long as it's functional for now we'll uh, kind of leave it at that have we got another message? we have a word of security and safety okay So 
So, you, so if, if if people with dangerous profiles get in, so there, there must be like sabotage and criminals and stuff. Um, dangerous content was loaded on boards, so or <laughs> probably bombs or illegal goods. If you have a commercial, make sure to keep high average security rating as possible. Skilled security staff. And a correct conveyor belt system layout. Okay. I think that's more for when we actually start doing baggage, because we're not doing baggage yet. Right, okay. Um, so next we need the uh, checking staff for commercial flights so I'm probably gonna have to build some new ones that are up against the terminal building so we need to get rid of the fence um, oh actually let's keep that last one there and get rid of these so we don't need these pieces there and then we need more um, aircraft stands so there you go, so that's where the checking stand goes, um, at the edge of the crosswalk where you can see kind of that, that checking person right there, look, security check-in, that's what it links to. So these have to kind of be right up against the building, um, so I guess that depends how many we, we, we can place in there. Let me just see actually, so I can make it eagle, even, let's, put the, let's try the toggle mode as you were suggesting earlier. Um, so... Let's see if we can get, I want at least a good four, maybe. I want it to be sort of centered, I guess. Um, so which is technically the center of this building? Would, would this center piece technically be it? If so, it's never actually gonna be truly centered though, is it? Mm. Secure position not invalid. Oh, oh that's because there's still a piece of fence. Okay. Yeah, so I can't put it right up against the building because of that piece. So it's probably going to be there. But we're going to need a taxiway as well. Looks like I could probably fit five, actually. Nah. No. Oh, I could if uh, this one here. So I'm probably going to have to leave a space. I'll do it like that. So there's a bit of a, a maybe a, I don't know, a road, roadway there or something. I don't know. Um, no, because that technically is the roadway. Hmm. No, I don't really like that. Man, it won't get centered otherwise, will it? Or can I move them all in? I could probably move them all in, can't I? Let's have a go. Oop. So that'll be that one in, I think. By one. Alright, it'll still be off center. By one, anyway. Eh, I'll leave it like that, it's fine. It don't really matter. I think that'll do. Four flights. Right, so we're going to need service road. Um, oh, you goddammit. That that fence is now in the way. Unless I kind of go... Oh, actually, yeah, I can go up. Like this. No, cat. <laughs> Goddamn your fence! Right, I'm going to have to get rid of the fence. At least this piece of fence here. Service road, no service road, wrong one. Right, come on, people, please come and remove this piece of uh, fence. I need literally one of you to come and move the fence. There we go. Thank you very much. Now build the rest. <laughs> right, so we're going to need a taxiway for these. Um, to get them back up here so I'll probably just put it here like this um, oh, shall I just put them right down the middle actually Post. Mm. it'll be probably a bit cheaper an aircraft hangar okay I don't know if, how big is that oh, it's not even that big taxiway foundation right so we're definitely going to need one here, of at least five. But then the question is, if I just shove one up the middle, 
Probably. I mean, that would make it centered, I guess. There you go. And then this stuff. Or the taxi weighing. There we go. Alright, so now can I kind of just say build that? Build plans objects. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what? Oh. Can I just drag and drop it like this? Yeah. Perfect. There we go. Oh, is this in planning mode? I don't need to be in planning mode anymore. There we go. Alright, so that's all that. Then we need a couple of security desks, so I'm going to have to get rid of a couple of people. Oh, actually, maybe I can just put a door on instead of deleting the wall. A large door. Can't really see where the crosswalks are. Oh, there they are. I could just about see them. Can I not get rid of those? It's showing the zones. I don't want the zones. How do I get rid of the zone visibilities? I have no idea. I think it was was it Z Z. There you go. So this is where. People will exit to go board the plane. And then we're going to need check ins. Check in desk. Oh no, it's not a check in, it's the boarding desk. Right, so the queue to go that way. Unfortunately, you can't really make that centered, so I guess I'll place it somewhere around here. off to the side a little bit. There we go. We'll be beauty it up a little bit later on. Get that built. Look at him go. Oh, one's built. Alright, so now I've got to make sure these are for commercial flights before they get filled with general aviation flights. Oh, you goddamn! Once to, uh, a, a general aviation flight showing up, it's because it turned it on straight away. Where is it? Oh, it's this one. Is there another one coming as well? Oh no, that one's sitting straight back off. Ah. Right, what does he want? He wants refueling. And as soon as he's refueled, he can bugger off. There we go. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on. Off you go. Come on, bugger off. There we go. Right. So, I now need to connect these. Uh, how do I open them up again? There. Connect that to this. Uh, no. So this is what I mean. So that's the bus, the shuttle bus, bus. But we don't have them yet. So I just got, I guess I just got to connect it to that, and that is it. There we go. Oh, there you go. In and out. Look. It's kind of cool. There we go. So you can kind of shuttle people to the uh, to. Uh, the actual boarding areas. There we go. Open your runway for commercial use. Will that stop um, them from doing normal aircraft as well? Oh, there you go, commercial flights. So what's this for? No idea. Runway condition 43%. How can I repair? There we go. Repair. Oh, can't see. Repair cost 4,000. There we go. They can come and repair it, it's fine. The new staff room looks really nice, but it seems empty. Let's hire some friendly staff. So we need... Um, what does it want? It wants passenger service agents. Um, I guess this, mm, there's only like three decent-ish ones. I don't really want to hire substandard people. Ideally, I mean, come on. Oh, there we go. Yoink! That will do. Right, what next? Security officers. So we've got at least three 
four decent ish ones. There we go. Rampage agents. Oh, nice. Plenty of decent stuff there. There we go. Awaits the staff to arrive. Coming by a taxi, look. Awesome. I know it would be a good idea to build those. Oh, so these are the staff. Yeah. Operation mode on runway is if you have multiple runways. One to depart is only. Alright, oh, okay. Nice idea. I did leave a space for another runway. Um, obviously, they'd have to taxi over it, or I'd have to put the taxi in behind it, I guess. That's probably more ideal. Right, so. Now we need to enable ramp services. So, as operations, ramp agent service. Well, the R&D stuff can we actually research while we're here, actually? Is it staff? No, it's not. What was the R&D area? This one? There. What else can we research? Bigger fuel tanks, by the looks of it. Is it bigger fuel tanks? Oh, it's just a different fuel truck. With higher driving speed and faster refueling of aircraft. Extended commercial license, what does that do? Night flights, floor construction permits. Go for night flights. Except flights during the night time. Between 10 and 5. Okay. There we go. Right, so we've got... How many people? Oh, we can only have three people. We can, can we go for another one then? No. I can have three people. I've got one spare. There we go. Alright, so now we need to finally accept the first commercial flight and greet some passengers. We need to ma a master contract with an airline. Shortcut F. Okay. So accept an airline. Alright, so we need to accept an airline first. So it's... Uh, is it economy? Yes. Uh, offer contracts. Wow. Okay. Hello, Queen B. Alright, so... Probably going for the high star, so there's this guy, or this guy. So we can go for Trinity Aviation or Havana. I've not heard of any of them, but there you go. Two and a half thousand per flight. Is that is that the kind of money that we, uh, is that the money that we're getting, or how much it's costing us? So business travels around the world in all classes. Simple economy to luxurious first class. So yeah, it looks like small and then medium. So you get two and a half thousand. Right, let's have a look at this other guy. Two and a half thousand, six thousand. So they're basically the same. Um, Trinity or Havana? Mm, let's go for Havana, I think. We'll go for that one. Oh, actually, they've got different planes. So that's 1900Ds and then... So they, they've got slightly different... Slightly different... Uh, planes, but I have no idea what they are. Let's yeah, let's just go for uh, sod it. There we go. Right, so now we've got to schedule flights. There we go. Click on the airline name, see all the flights they currently offer. To schedule flight, drag it into the flight planner. A procurement dri director will enable you to unlock nighty nightly flights. So we need a procurement director as well uh, once we've done the research. The airline satisfaction makes sure it's kept high to get a steady stream of new flights. Consider buying some gate seating so your passengers feel rested before boarding the flight. Good idea. Let's close that then for now. Right, so currently these are restricted times. Uh, looks like have we even got any flights? Well, you can auto plan it. Requires board members COO and CIO. Flight capacity of 25. Flight's not yet offered, please wait. Small aircraft, medium aircraft, and large aircraft. Well, we can only have small aircraft, so. Yeah. Right, so what what staff member did it say that we need um, for nightly? Uh, it was like an executive, wasn't it? Which one was it? Oh, procurement, that's it. 
Reduces vehicle purchasing cost by 5%, so we'll need a procurement director. Are they going to be on here? This is officers, executives. It's probably going to be an executive, isn't it? There we go. Nice, super high skill as well. Have they got any better ones? No, that's it. That's right, so we're having that one. So what do the rest of them do? Because we could probably do with these. Look at that, he's super high skilled. A C I oh we need a CIO and a COO, don't we? Let's get this guy then. What does the CFOs do? I'd like to know what they all actually do. Um so he enables the auto planner, unlocks technology projects, statistics panel. Uh this one does set airport fees, reduces corporate tax by twenty five percent. Economy report slows fines. This is auto repair structures, operation cost by ten percent. Lowers the risk of random accidents when present at the airport. The strategy director is unlocks franchise R and D projects. And this one sets salaries, sets shifts and working hours. Could do with just at least one of everything, really, couldn't we? But yeah. Let's see if all. So we don't have a CFO, do it? No, we don't. I guess we'll get that one. Why not? And a CIO. Or did I get that one already? Yes. So we need a COO, strategy, and HR. So there's HR. Oh, he's a lot cheaper with about the same skill. Let's go for that one then. Strategy director. It's pretty high. Yeah, go for that one. Okay then. So we just need a COO, but the applicants at the moment are a bit meh. Uh, so I guess we'll wait for that one. High hourly cost for your minimum traffic. Yeah. Probably, but at the same time. <laughs> it just allows me to put all the, um, all the stuff on auto eventually, but there we go. Right, so have we got any flights left yet? No. Airline satisfaction. Only 25% apparently. It's be our ability to handle flights on time, a low satisfaction can have the airline cancel the master contract. Offered flights zero currently. Is that to refresh or what? It's probably because of the restricted time maybe. Let's fast forward past that. No? Oh, there you go. Three offered flights. Not scheduled. Right, so... It's basically just any old flight. From us to... Shawholm Airport, apparently. So we can put them pretty much anywhere. Let's let's have them... Let's have them land at six. Why not? There we go. What? We're not going there. Just get it at least three hours in advance. Okay, then. There we go. About 8.30 then. There we go. I thought you said three flights were offered. We'd like a few more. So we can auto fly. Let's, let's put the auto planner on. That's what we've got that guy for. Oh, he's not here yet. Oh, we need the COO as well. Okay. See. Have we got a decent one show up yet? No. It's the same slot for three days. Ah, okay. Uh, let's put his um, chairs and shit down. Uh, what's it? Called? What does it come under again? For the oh, it's decoration, isn't it? Is it? No, it's not. I need other oh, seating. Oh, right. So get seating. This will go large. Get rid of that because it's distracting. Um, so the queue is literally there. Let's build it just a little bit away from the queue. And we'll build a couple at least. And then actually probably just one at each side probably would have done but never mind. Probably don't need anywhere near this much seating. 
but hey ho. Actually, actually, that kind of goes even spacing the whole way. Look, it's probably very excessive seating, but <laughs> I'll get rid of that middle one actually. Since it's even, there we go. There we are. I'll probably change it later on, but never mind. It's fine. Oh, they can squeeze through there. See, that's why I need to extend the fence. They've got a gate right there, but they're just lazy. Let's put... Uh, I'll put a gate here, and then extend the fence to there. So the cat squeeze through there. At least I hope the cat. And it's the whole idea of a fence. There we go. Yeah. Right, let's keep checking on those flights. So are these different? No. When's this flight coming in? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. It's general aviation flights are still doing quite nice. Is that getting a little rundown, this flight pad? 76%. Okay. Oh, it's here. Looks like a big ish uh, aircraft compared to the general aviation. Frequency once. So it's setting off at 11.30 with five people. So three people arrived, five people are going. So this seating is uh, very uh, over, over, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Let's have a look. Have you got any more yet? No. Today's report. Total income is 83,000. We've spent crap tons, but yeah. Oh, so that's, that's in one day, that's pretty nice. Infrastructure fee, 76,000. So fuel, um, all that kind of stuff. Direct passenger income is practically nothing. I could probably do with a car park as well, actually. I didn't even think of that. It's just it, it was just talking about car parking fees and stuff. I never actually put a car park down. Um, is, it, is it in this bit? Oh, there. Parking lot. Outdoor parking space for up to 28 privately owned vehicles. So, yeah. Um, let's do it like this, I think. And then I can put a road down the middle. And then I can ex always extend it later on. I mean, I guess it depends if I'm going to make a larger airport at some point. I'll probably end up making it here, though. But yeah, let's uh, let's go for this. So where's my road going to be? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not going to be even anyway. I'll put it here. So we'll start with just the one. And then um, I'll extend it later on. As, it, as we get a bit busier, I can put another one here, and another one here, and here, and so on and so forth. Put the car pad takes a good bit longer. There we go. Back in lot one. It's a short term parking lot apparently. Many to crosswalk. Oh yeah. Um it's, oh yeah, because they need a crosswalk to get over there, don't they? Is that gonna affect them? Crosswalks the small and a medium. Oh yeah, two lanes. Can I put it pretty much anywhere? Apparently. Um let's put it over here then. Can I use that bit? Yeah, I think they can walk anywhere around here, can't they? I'm hoping. Or does it have to be here? 
Where's the um, heat maps for walking space? Yeah, they can walk anywhere in the actual car park, so that is fine, right there. I might even put one over here as well, because I'm probably going to make this into a pathway right here. Which would probably be better, actually, to be honest, but yeah. Um, so, walkway. So this is going to be walkway here. Yeah, just to get across the main road. Here we go, look. And I'll put one there. I can't get rid of the heat map. There we go. There we go. That, oh, that, look, that one looks much better, but yeah. that's. So this one's probably a bit eh, but that one's better. Because obviously it's uh, directly onto a car parking spot, but it'll do. I'll leave it there for now. It's fine. I was going to say it didn't take that much to make a cross, but it's because we're making a bit of path as well. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Oh, they're going to the staff room. Okay. Right, what's next? Turn on another five commercial flights. We can do, definitely do with uh, grabbing some more. Oh, there we go. We've got four. So we've got another one here. Not scheduled. Um, three hours in advance. It is three hours in advance. It's the next day. Oh, no. It's got to be the next Yeah, there we go. All right, okay. Let's... Um, or should we just put it over here? Oh, yeah, we can do nighttime now. Look. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put it somewhere up here then. Seven, seven, well, five thirty. Obviously, we don't want them all coming in at the same time either. So let's uh, kind of spread it out just a tiny little bit. Um, so that'll come in at seven. Yeah, this is the current time. Yeah, I just didn't realize that this was still technically Thursday. I thought it'd be. I was thinking of it going this way and then this is the next day, but you have to actually select the next day. But yeah. <laughs> but obviously we can have up to four flights at once, um, so it would be ideal if we could kind of get to that stage. Oh nice, another three. Oop. Not scheduled. So it's, they're all, they're all going to come in at the same time basically. Pretty much within half an hour of each other. So what's that one at? Oh, so I can't even do it that one anyway. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Nope. I want fast enough. It's fine. This one can come in at this time. There we go. Let's speed it up a little bit. It's a pain, but eventually gets sorted. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can get that COO now as well. Um, at least a decent one. Nah, they're all me. What does that mean? Auto assigned to terminal on arrival. So, how often do applicants get uh, swapped about? I, mean, I suppose these are kind of cheap, but the skill level's really, yeah, crap. Oh, there's one commercial flight. They're probably the biggest of the small planes that we can have, I would imagine. So this one's got nine people arriving, six people leaving. You can reject the bad ones. Oh, right, okay. So that they're not coming back. I'll get rid of all the really bad ones then. There we go, look. But does that make more people want to apply later on down the line or what though? That's the question. So it looks like I might require a little, an extra couple of taxi stands. Mm, seems to be just about enough. Just. Oh, the car parts are getting used. Look at that bad parking. And that one. Look at that. It's a minibus. Well, we've got 11 spaces left. You can also train people to get better if they aren't perfect. Right, okay. Interesting.
got a fairly nice little busy airport going on. Got just a few people waiting about. So I don't actually see staff working at these desks. Oh, there you go. Right, okay. We'll just keep looking. See, oh, he's... Oh, there you go. This one will do. Holly Anderson. There we go. So now we can do um, auto planner stuff. So minimum flight separation, 30 minutes. Yeah, that's all I want. There we go. So there's seven flights offered. What has disappeared? It said seven flights were offered. Maybe she's doing it automatically. Maybe. Has she already put them in or what? Oh, she put one in there, one in there. Okay. So she's working. It's a pretty nice big one as well. Bye. Where's it going? Aberdeen. Okay. How many flights have we turned around now? It's got to be at least like going on three, four. Oh yeah, I need to put the toilets on this side as well. I'm just going to copy these ones if it'll let me copy. Can you copy? Copy paste mode. So it's include room in copy. So I've got to hold it. There we go. No, I don't want the whole freaking room. I just yeah, okay. I guess that'll have to do. Oh man, you. If I'm just pasting it literally next door, it don't really matter, does it? There we go. So we've got toilets on both sides of the security. Obviously, eventually we'll have stuff like baggage handling and maybe some shops or something like that. Oh, look, I'm going through security. <laughs> and get their full passport stuff as well, so they need the toilet. Could be a bit hungry. A bit hungry. In fact, can't we get a vending machine? I've I've seen a vending machine somewhere there. So we're going to drink some food. So maybe I should put some of these down um, for them for the time being. I'll put them in the middle of them, I guess. That's drinks. So they they can share, and then the, and then. These ones can share. So drinks and food. There we go. A lot of people buy junk food. Jet fuel for, for, for commercial flights. Yeah, probably. That's probably what's going to end up being next. Um, oh, that's a good point. Let's have a look at the um, R and D stuff as well, actually. What else can we get? We can get remote stand service, whatever that means. Oh, that's for the shuttle bus. Advanced runway lighting. Law construction, medium aircraft, extended commercial response units. Emergency response structures and vehicles. Bird strike prevention. A large weather station. Medium fuel depots. Oh, there's the jet fuel. Let's do jet fuel then. Lovely. Repeat maximum three people. Let's go away. There we go. Three people. When can you unlock having a second project? We can't unlock whatever this is either. Well, that's getting learned very, very quickly. Did. Giving them the airline satisfaction, which is this. It's currently 77%. Security is only 62%. Okay. Um, 
Okay. So the baggage checking is only 50%. Not pretty much everything's 50%. Research program group one opens research group two. Program two and three. Right, okay. I don't really say, uh, say how to unlock the rest of them, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, there, program. Upkeep cost reduction, salary cost, repair costs, incre increase construction speed. That's eight hours of time. Structural engineering, what's that for? Don't even say. Oh, there you go. Concrete runways and rounds and stuff. Cafes. Keep them happy so we can have food rooms and stuff. Fridges, coffee machines, beer taps. So they can get drunk. <laughs> and baggage handling so that's probably going to become a thing as well I would like the actual bigger fuel depots as well M medium fuel depots and the bigger fuel trucks so one at a time for the program group stuff right okay well, let's unlock, let's use it let's get try and get this to unlock the project groups and stuff um, and then if we can hire more people then fair enough have I seriously not done five commercial flights yet? This one goes off at 4.10. This one at 4.30. See, we have more people coming into the airport than going out of it at the moment. At least they're on time. Probably do be making them look a bit nicer as well. I don't know if that makes any difference to, uh, you know, what they, uh, how they view my airport, but there you go. Damn it, not that one. But we'll put some uh, plants down and stuff. Oh, this shows the security look. Two. So what does that mean, though? That, like, a no entry of some sort? I have no idea. Oh, that's wrong. Damn it. I wish it won't automatically kick you out of your... Uh, of the build. Right, so sometimes things go wrong and you need to be prepared to handle a difficult situation. Bird strikes, emergency landings, and medical emergencies are rare, but do happen. It's time to build the infrastructure to take care of those offence. Complete RRD project emergency response units. Checkpoints and exits for security. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't need them here, do I? I mean, obviously, I've got these. But does it mean it wants more? More security checkpoints? I mean, at the moment, I don't think we've really got the uh, the passenger count for that. I mean, I don't think they'd need another checkpoint for, for the, these, these areas, would they? And what other security options have we got? And no, I just looked through that. Going in, out, secures of, and yeah, just these, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it said like two and two, and yeah, so we've got two in, two out. Yeah, right, fair enough, that makes sense. There we go, group one completed. Oh, there you go. Oh, so you can actually keep it uh, kind of like select a couple of these. Right. Okay, so I can do upkeep cost reductions. Or salary reductions, repair costs, or construction speeds. Well, I guess at the moment we'll, go, we'll just go for the, uh, the upkeep cost reduction. Can I not select more than one? Projects efficient will build up as your administrators get better performing the assigned task. Oh, it costs an administrator to keep that going. Right, fair enough. Alright, so we need the emergency stuff, that one. Just 
support structures and vehicles, security patrols, and bird strike prevention. So I don't have that yet, that's fine. There we go. So I probably do actually want to hire a couple of extra administrators. Um, I guess they're mediocre at it, but I guess it'll do. I'll just get three, why not? Get rid of these two. Um, oh, we're going to need some more desks. Are these like the CFOs and stuff? Administrator. A ramp agent. What's a ramp agent using the computer, uh, computer for? It's fine. Alright, anyway, here we go. Let's go like that. There we go, another six. Give them their plants. You eventually max out at 30 admins. You can do max 5 admins per item. And 2 items per group. Okay. So how many have we got here? 12. So this, this room is almost, almost big enough to have all 30 in it. But I'll probably uh, build another one. I'll probably just end up building another one. Probably like on the other side or something. I don't want them to be too crowded. There's a security officer. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, she's much better. Never mind. We've already done it now. How many? How many have we got actually? So that's six, probably seven. Oh, actually, I guess we could get another one. Well, there's quite a lot of them now, actually. Oh no, these are the ones that we've got. Okay, never mind. Nice. Yeah, let's have that one. Oh, that don't want them ones. One email. A one million bonus awarded. You've been selected by the Department of Infrastructure and Transportation as the winner of the Aviation Transportation Award. Okay. We've got a bunch of money for nothing. How close are we to finishing that um, R&D project? A long time. Oh, we can have up to six people on it. There we go. So upgrade cost, efficiency 19%. Let's put that one, one more on it as well then. Yeah, there's a couple of spare computers here or there. Not for very long, like. So we probably do need a bit more, but yeah. Which staff were asking about? Um, no, oh, I was just uh, wondering if, like, the CF, uh, CFOs or COOs and this, this, that, and the other use computers too. Which it looks like they do. HR, CIO. So they're probably going to need uh, computer tables, uh, desks, and stuff as well. this say there's no janitor okay I guess we need a janitor I don't even think about that a janitor applicants yeah keep keep the place clean that's a good couple we'll do for now as as we get this slightly better uh, oh I just got rid of a good one there but never mind didn't even think about uh, stuff like oh actually can I make this auto Auto assign. Oh no, that's auto assign to terminal. There we go. Right, so we've got four decent janitors, that'll do. Looks like we could probably do with a little bit more seating in the staff room. Quite possibly. So these eat from eat out of the um, the watsits as well, the uh, vending machines and stuff. There we go. 
just want to keep them a, a little bit more occupied. But yeah, I'll probably build a, a second staff room. Probably over here. Or just like here. Or something. Probably over here. We're nearly there. Yep, get in there. Ooh, it looks like they're operating at sixty-two percent now. When you make your airport bigger airport, you can build them private offices. Right, okay. Yep, an incident report. The process a total of 91 passengers, 33 flights, 26 with general aviation. Air average airport rate is 61%. <laughs> okay. So the general aviation uh, rating is fairly decent. Airline ratings kind of near though. Uh, passenger rating eighty six percent, so it is rising. Productivity is about one hundred and ninety percent. Really? Security rating sixty two, so that's slightly going up. Okay, what's this economy? So it is costing us a good little bit, an income of 1.1 million. And then this. A risk analysis company with primary focus on airports. Oh yeah, for the emergency units. Okay, so fire truck, ambulance, airport police, an emergency re response station, or an airport police station, preferably all of them. Aircraft that have experienced an emergency must often be repaired, which requires the construction of a few aircraft hangars. Okay, airline will still learn to offer uh, all services for each aircraft type. Right, okay. Right, so we need. So now we can have airport police station and emergency response. Are they a part of this area? I imagine. Look, this is this is massive. I can't squeeze it down here. Well, I can if I get rid of the fence. We go there. It's probably a nice little spot for it. And obviously emergency services as well. I'll put this on the other side. I need a bit of run up there though. Plane side of security checkpoint for both. Right, okay. Well as long as the entrances and exits are, are kind of that this side, I'd imagine it'd be uh, fine. Hopefully. Or shall I just put them both over there anyway? Hmm. I could probably extend the, this up here so I can place some stuff here, more stuff here. Because we need some hangers here probably. In fact, yeah, I guess I'll move this guy. Can I move him? No, I'm going to have to uh, redo it. So we've got this one here. Um, I, won't, I, won't, I won't be able to put a road there though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there I'll be fine. We'll find out eventually anyway. We'll find out. <laughs> Looks like I may just have to move my fence down to where the security station is. The hangar attaches to the wrong taxiway, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to move that fence uh, and build it next to the, um, the checkpoint area. Yeah, so it's automatically got a fence on it, look, as well. So... Let's uh, 
build the fence. I'll put a gate here for the contractors, maybe one on this side as well. And then I'll do the same on the other side. I'll bring it down to here and then move it over. Just extend it a little bit. Once that's built, I'll get rid of the inner one. give us that tiny bit more space to do whatever we need to. Build a new emergency response station, yeah. So I also so they also wanted um let's have a look. Oh yeah we've got the bigger ones now. Oh that's the jet fuel. Is it the same size as that one? More or less. Guess I'll put it there for now. Alright, so we've got jet fuel. Probably going to need another vehicle as well. Uh, what are these for? The current weather. So that's real time weather data. And that one gives you a 7 day forecast. Can I place that somewhere over here out of the way? I'll build it next to the aircraft tower, why not? Alright, well, let me place it there. Oh, mm, there. There. Put it next to the aircraft tower, why not? Weather helps reduce flight incident risk. Okay. What, what were the other ones? Oh, we have got a concrete tower. That's nice tower. Can I fill this in? Yes. It makes perfect sense to have that filled in. Right, let's fill that in, that in, that in. There we go. That looks better. Same with the windsock. Okay, I'll put that at the end of the runway. Oh, actually, at the beginning of the runway. Is that this is where they're landing? I'll one at each side. I'll put one at each side. Why not? So there was some other security stuff that they wanted as well, wasn't it? Uh, oh, the emergency vehicles and things. But we can have. Quite a few more people packed in here, 19 people. Obviously we're going to have to buy some stuff, so an airport, police car, fire truck and an ambulance. Uh, precious vehicles. So jet we need a jet fuel, so we'll order one of them. Police car, ambulance and a fire truck. We'll get all of them pretty soon. So they only start up to 30k. It's a bit eh. Yeah. Here they come, look. That's the so the police cars. Do the police cars store in their own parking spaces. Yeah. Up to seven parking spaces. Same with these. Yep. Up to four. Ambulances and fire trucks only. So are these just oh this is just for basic vehicles then I guess. <laughs> if you go into the runway you can upgrade to build bird strike prevention. Okay. We well, could do with a bit of repair as well. So runway upgrades. Bird strike. 15 grand. What what's Pappy? It's obviously some sort of lighting. Convert to grass. Let's do that. Oh here we go. So what, do I only need one of these? Somewhere. Guess I'll build it up here next to the sock. Whatever it's for. So has it got like an AOE or something? Or... We'll get it repaired as well.
Right, fair enough. So what is it even doing? It sounds like a fan. So it looks like we probably would need one maybe here and then one probably down here or something. I'm going to build one down there as well just in case. Because you never know. And then obviously we've got lights as well that you can put on there. Oh, the fan was a plane. <laughs> well, never mind. We've got the one on there now anyway, so we can have these lights. Oh, they're like, like, light lights. But what do we need them for? To light the runway, kind of like that, down the side of it probably. I probably should have moved that over that way then. It's getting built now by the looks of it. Let's let him build it. Oh, there you go. There you go. So we probably even need more, actually. So, yeah. So really, actually, because I'm thinking about putting another runway here eventually, is I probably should have built it here. And then, so we probably need to start maybe here. Then another one probably around here. And then the last one here. You would point the puppy off the end of the runway. For the landing parts. So, what do so you, so you mean here? What pointing to it, or this way, like to the left? Can I relocate that? There should be a relocate option normally. No, I guess not. So point to the left, right, okay. Oh, but then I can't put a taxiway system here, though. Can they taxi over a different runway? I mean, it's probably better that they don't. I'd like the taxiway to come this way. Does it, ima does it matter how far away from the runway it is? I'm putting the lights down. So, I mean, obviously this is five wide, so I'd like at least five wide. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, basically, I'd, I'd, I'd be able to put it here. Would that still work? Right beside the runway too. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think I'm probably going to put one here. It doesn't affect the gameplay. Ah, right, okay. So it's more just... Yeah. You would put alongside the runway for realism. Right, okay. So we've got quite a few flights trying to take off at the same time. Well, general aviation ones anyway. Alright, so if an aircraft is damaged... Oh yeah, we need a hangar. Build a hangar and connect it to the taxiway. So I'm probably going to have some something here or maybe here. So yeah, it's mostly aesthetic. Right, fair enough. So aircraft hangars there. I think I select one apparently. So they're not even that big, but yeah. And maybe I can put them along here instead. Unless I can start taxiing people, but yeah. Because here I could put more general aviation landing points um, if need be. Mm. Yeah, I think I probably might just shove some here. So you can probably get... Well, probably just two and that's it, isn't it? Yeah, leaving one space. When you unlock medium and large planes, you want medium and large hangers too. Right, okay. So it depends how big they are, really, then, when it comes down to it. I mean, I guess I could just put a couple here for now. I'll just put a couple here for now and then I can... I can move them later on. Upgraded gates will be longer. Oh, you can't gates, right? Okay. 
Fair enough. Oh yeah, and his actual taxi we're connecting. Right, okay. There we go. And then building, obviously. There we go. Patrols can be assigned to both security officers inside terminals and airport police cars. So they'll actually kind of stroll around. Okay. Create a security officer patrol route inside of a terminal. Make the patrol route four nodes or longer. I don't know by left clicking on the terminal players. But how do you get the security route up to start with? Um, oh, there. Security patrols. Security officer patrol. So, we probably want somebody to kind of patrol, like, probably around this area, more than likely. Three small stands are the same width as two mediums, but a medium stand depth is two or three tiles deeper. Right, okay. Right, so we'll have somebody quite literally um, walk pretty much all of this. How far away did I put that? Not too far, it's fine. That'll do. We'll just have them kind of patrol this uh, immediate area, as it were. There we go. Yes, thank you. Just get them to uh, keep an eye on the uh, passengers there. Create an airport police car patrol route. Okay. What exactly do I want them to patrol though? Like this, probably, or something. So obviously they're going to be starting here. guess. So does it matter where the nodes drop down? I guess it don't, does it? So they've got to come all the way up here. I'll just have them kind of patrol this the whole way. I don't know if it'll make any big difference or anything, but there you go. I don't know if they actually want to kind of patrol this area, but there you go. I guess all of my roadways will be uh, patrolled. Delete a route by choosing the X icon on one of its nodes. I don't want to delete one of it, but thank you. It actually wants me to delete one as well, doesn't it? I don't want to remove it, I want to just add it. I'm going to uh, place the temporary one down and delete that one. There you go. They can patrol for security, but they might also shoot birds too. Alright, okay. Alright, this is going great. When you are ready, you can expand your small regional airport and attract some high rated airline contracts. We need to build a larger aircraft stand and make sure our runway can have little jets that will soon land. Since all commercial flights use the Jet A1 fuel type, we should build fuel depot, yeah. In fact, we haven't even enabled that yet. We built it, but I didn't enable it. There we go. There we go. What's this? Runway assign mode. Yeah, we only have one runway, so it doesn't really matter yet. Build a medium checking desk. Acquired via the medium aircraft permit. We need to hire procurement directors to gain access to more procurement options. Medium sized aircraft. So it wants us to move on to more larger aircraft. So it's probably going to be a case of buying a bigger one. Um, or even this one. So that we can build bigger airport areas. But yeah. Right, okay. So. We've got a good few more, uh, more passengers going. 
coming in. I don't think I've seen anybody use the toilets yet. Oh, you can actually um, change the allowed genders. So it's a unisex, that's a female. Male. I don't even think about that. Allowed person. Passenger, employee, or both. But it's currently both. So I'll leave it at that. How's this flight status? Look at that, we've got plenty of flights. The bathrooms are open, why not? Oh, <laughs> don't! <laughs> I thought they would have been open automatically, I mean, come on. God damn, everybody's like, oh my god! They've been holding it for like four days, six days. Oof, I'd be desperate. Well, even the ones waiting up here, look. Yeah. Poor guys. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Never mind. Right. Anyway, I think I'm probably going to copy this and put it over here. Um, so we've got... Um, a little bit more administrator um, capabilities, as it were. Yeah, there's not. There don't appear to be a lot of automation. I must admit. Did it not copy the um, the walls as well? That it, it didn't really copy anything. That did it. Or has it? But I just can't see it yet. So it's, it's shift to include the room. Oh, there you go. That's better. But see, I didn't have to open this one. It should have been open automatically. That's stupid. You can actually make people pay for it as well, look. Eventually, maybe. That's funny. But cruel. It's like it's not saving the floor though. Oh, this one's closed. Let's uh, put the floor in as well. Same as the other one. There we go. Flight planner, checking desk, bag and drop, boarding desk, op op operational automation. And also auto renegotiate contract. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that kind of stuff as well. Um, let's have a look. So what other stuff can we do? So we've got fees. Loans. We've accepted contracts. There's the auto negotiation. This is our neg negotiation points. Let's put it on auto then. Available contracts rating up to four stars. And some more offered contracts. Well, there's four stars. Cost is four pound. Who have we currently got? We've currently got uh, Berkeley, which is currently six pound eight. So that one would be a lot cheaper. Let's get that one then, shall we? You already have a contract of this type, so we've got to cancel the other one first. Okay. Can we cancel it? Like uh, uh, yep, cancel the contracts. Oh, I've got to get rid of all the contractors first. Uh, where are they from? This one. Place your fuel and contracts cost for Foster as well. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of all of these guys. Sorry, guys. Bye. Right. So let's get rid of these guys. 
we'll get a better one with this guy. And there's a fuel and go one, or Mex Abbey fuel. So that one's 115 or 24. So this one's slightly cheaper, so it'll be fuel and go probably. I don't think we can sign this one straight away. Nah, we've got to get rid of the other one as well. Okay then. Uh, this one, Abbey fuel. You aren't building release contractors for less. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. This one was it? 115 and 24. 140. No, this one. Fuel and gold. Okay then. Ta da! Right. So I don't think we've got any others that we can uh, kind of go yet. Like the airlines. Nah. One star. Wow. So we can have up to four star. Can we have more than one contract? Oh no, because the, cl the class is master contracts out there. So probably not. You can have catering as well. Obviously we've not unlocked that yet though. Wouldn't worry on airlines for now, yeah. So we can have them auto-signed. Shifts, so we've not a lot of stuff like that yet, anyway. Vehicles, statistics. I don't know what else can actually be automated, but there we go. This car park is getting full. Two parking spaces, so it's probably about time we build the other one. Oh yeah, but then how will passengers get across? Maybe straight across these entrances as well. You can have as many airlines as you want, but too many is hard to keep happy. Happy airlines let red negotiation go easier, right? Okay. There we go. Have we even got security staff at this? No, we haven't. Shouldn't they be getting checked there? So they only get checked coming in but not going out. I, mean, I guess it sort of makes sense, but you know. They offer more flights, okay. Fair enough. At least we've got an auto planner. Flight delay option prompts. So we've got up to 10 out of 25 flight capacity. Look at all of them. Nice. Oh yeah, I need to hire the contractors again. Uh, operations, want it? Yeah. So we can have up to 154. Obviously, we're not really building too much right now, but we definitely need some. Can't manually select, that's a bit of a shame. Well, we'll get them all anyway, it's just as cheap probably. But we're, good. we're probably going to have to start building pretty soon. So we need... Um, we need to research... Like, the medium runway stuff. So what's the advanced runway lighting? Come on, tell me what it was. Just, nah, that's it. Right, okay. So we're probably going to want remote stand stuff. Um, we're going to want the medium aircraft. Um, I guess I'll get that first. There we go. Six people to go on it. So we'll learn that. We've got uh, four buses to bring our contractors in. For accepting what these. Sorry, it is a little bit delayed. Um, is the stream not by much, but it is delayed. Process 150 passengers, so we definitely uh, 
generating slightly more passengers. Our rating's slowly going up. Yeah, everything's slowly going up. Not by a lot. Before I accept an R&D project. One more airline with four stands as well. Okay. Total income 137,000. It's not as much as previous, but yeah. So we actually gained balance. Not by a lot, but we did gain balance. Yes, all the contractors kind of come in but then go back outside. Where's the other one? See, so I think they can just pass over. Yeah. So people are using that car pack as well. Awesome. So, we'll probably add one more airline. Let's have a look then, shall we? Um. The only other one that was even half decent was the other one that we got uh, kind of offered at the beginning. You can click on a project to get more details about the project before accepting. Right, okay. So we're not getting offered any anything better than these. I guess these will do. So obviously we do want medium. Um, but yeah, let's... Uh, Let's get Trinity as well, shall we? Let's see if we get offered some more stuff. Obviously she'll automatically assign, which will be awesome. We've not been offered anything just yet. But yeah. Oh, let's get some phone socks. Yeah, it, well it always does, to be fair. Yep, so they've been fueled. They've been repaired, I think. So now we're getting nine nine in, nine out. So they are starting to get a tiny bit. How, how many people can these even hold? I mean, I know they're small, but... It'd be interesting. Okay. Where's all the grass gone? It's all turned into horrible dirt. Is that because of the pollution or something? From the airline running? Or is it because of the time of the year or something? Well, we're running on day six. Oh, it's the season. No, oh, never mind. That makes sense. If we're coming into like winter or something. So we're in autumn, I guess. Or the fall. Or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that looks cracked. Well, it's got a big crack in it. It's only at 62% though, it's not that bad. Repair costs 570. We'll get it repaired anyway. Why not? We'll, we'll do a nice clean sweep. That one costs even more. So can't you do like auto repairs and stuff? I'm sure they mentioned that at some point or another. Right, so we've got his research going. Let's have a quick look. Uh, so we're researching that. Medium aircraft. Let's just put it on fast. Speed the game up. Let's get that going. So we're more than likely probably going to just buy this bit of land here. Possibly, I don't know. Or maybe just up here. See, it depends if we can like taxi. Yeah, we're probably going to need at least this bit. 
Um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway. So I could always kind of switch it all up. So kind of like we might end up with large runways here, medium runways over here, or something like that. We'll see. Security rating is 62. Average is slowly going up. This is the officer rating there is going down a little bit. Oh, no, it's going up. The collective skill level of your high security guards. Obviously, we're not doing baggage or anything. So, let's have a quick look at back. Oh, yeah, we haven't even got these, uh, the skill for it yet, have we? Right, so, we've got the medium checking desks and stuff now. Handle checking for any flight size. So, it's just a different checking desk. Oh, it's got the baggage things on them. Interesting. Because these obviously don't. This checking disc can't accept baggage. Okay. So that's something we're going to have to work towards. And then we've got the new medium stands. Yeah, they are quite a bit bigger. Oh, it's even got like, ooh, actually they're a good bit bigger, yeah. And they actually barred from there. Right, okay. Is that on a second floor, that? Or is that still the ground floor? Or does, does it matter? That entrance there. I mean, it's interesting. Alright, so we've got that. We've got the medium hangers as well, by the looks of it. How big is it? About the same as two of these, pretty much, yeah. So it's good size. Yeah, I could quite easily put one there. Even there, so I could still have roads or something. Maybe, I don't know. Or I'll just kind of keep it to the medium runway. It nearly ran out of fuel. Buff it has. Set the colours and everything. Hmm. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we're probably going to buy this then. Uh, eventually. Might as well buy it now, aren't I? Yeah. It's expensive, but there you go. And then we're going to have to go on to the rest of the R&D, so that's done now. So we're going to need... What we're going to need next? Baggage handling as well, probably. A belt loader, that's probably going to be uh, what we, uh, something we're going to need as well. Oh, so they can load it by hand, or you can use a belt loader. A faster way to load medium aircraft. Large aircraft permits. Let's get project. Should we get project group two so we can research two things at once? Yeah. I think. Yeah, so program and project group. Why not? I want a bit of research more than one thing at a time. We'll get into that point where I could do with a few things. It's working at 100%, so a 10% reduction currently. Okay. I mean, I could do something else as well, like salary or repair costs. I mean, I'm currently losing money, but there you go. Have we got other flights on here yet? Doesn't look like it, does it? So these are offered us, offering us anything just yet. I 
So I might put some more general aviation ones here. Um, like here. If this is just going to be my small airpad, and then I'm probably going to have like bigger airpads here. I mean, once we build the bigger uh, runways, can you still allow small aircraft on? Yeah, it looks like it. So you can kind of mix and match eventually. Okay. Let's keep it going. But yeah, I'm probably going to have to build another one here. Is this as big as the map goes? Yeah. So we can build some it here and then use all of this. Probably for both. Especially if we're going to be doing like taxiing. Project 2 completed, sweet. So now we can do two things at once. So I definitely want baggage handling, probably want the bigger trucks, probably the belt loader. Uh, proactive maintenance, does that uh, mean that they'll, they'll fix things of, uh, themselves? Looks like it. Group 2, structural engineering. That's the concrete stuff. I take it they probably last longer. Cafes and stuff, all that stuff will be nice. So what's the extended commercial thing do? Subway permits. Aircraft cabin cleaning. Catering services. Oh, it gives us the medium tower. Oh, a bit of automation, that'd be nice. An ultimate commercial license, wow. And multiple terminal operations. Does that mean I'm gonna need that? in order to have more than one terminal. Hmm. I guess I'll have to, I might have to learn that then. So it says, as your airport sneezing Chris does the government of requirements and it's a commercial license to give you the right to schedule more flights per day and build a large ATE CD. Okay. Oh, so this is how many flights we can have because at the moment we can only have up to 25, can't we? So, We'll leave that for now, I guess. We'll research the other stuff first. Um, mind you, if it won't let me have another terminal. I mean, I guess I could kind of share the terminal. Ah, oh, no, I won't be able to lie. Or will I? No. I mean, you can trick it into being one terminal, but probably not. Alright, well, let's learn, let's learn that then. And then we'll just use this one to research something else. Oh, you can have up to eight people on that. I'm probably going to have to hire some more people. So I want baggage handling. We'll get that. Why not? Right, so I need some more staff. How many did you say we could eventually have up to about 30? This is, how many have we got now here? Then we've got, so it's five, six, seven, eight. Eight staff. So we can have quite a bit more, really. So there you go. There's some decent-ish ones as well. Apart from this one. go. Get them on that. Next four. So that's going to take a good while. But yeah, I'll probably just extend this over to here. And then build a medium terminal here. Or something. I don't know. And eventually I guess it all could become one terminal. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think for the time being I might just put some more general aviation here just for a bit of extra money. Can we build a uh, medium general? Oh no, because we won't be able to land anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just build some more general aviation ones here. And why not? It's a shame you can't connect them together like that. Okay, but yeah, we can easily get another uh, 
six in there. Taxiway Foundation. I mean, I know general aviation doesn't give us that much money, but it's still decent. Still something. Come on, get the work. I don't think I have to do anything special to him, do I? It's already open. Yeah. Well on night flights. There we go. Getting used already. Perfect. Quite a good bit quicker. Mm. Okay. Got practically no flights coming in at the moment though. Oh there's there's one for Trinity Aviation. So we're finally getting some. Only one so far though. Okay then. So that one should be here now. So that's the Trinity one. Yeah. It's going to Liverpool. So this is why we need another one so that people can set off as well. <clears throat> Right, well probably what I'm going to do is I'll run this over to here a little bit, probably not too far, and then we'll build the terminal here so we can reuse the car park like here eventually, and then here I'll build like hangars, emergency services, that kind of thing. I mean obviously these, I could probably connect these to it as well. Um, and I, I imagine we're probably better off with our own dedicated ones down here somewhere and then if we can use the bus shuttle services whatever however we unlock them um, is it in here? no there's two buses there a bus stop oh that's contractor site See, I don't think we've got bus shuttle in yet, have we? Project completed, sweet. Uh, oh, that's it. There we go. That's it for the shuttle in. So we'll get the shuttle in as well. Still need some more staff to max out my research. Ooh top of the line people there we go get rid of them ones well you can actually filter them as well so I want them to be at least half bunch of notifications summer has arrived apparently but it doesn't look like summer's arrived there man yeah I guess it is British weather Airport of the Year Awards. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. What does it say that? That's disappeared. It said re Airport of the Year Awards. Save messages now. No, new email. Performance reports. Oh, that was six years ago. Oh, the ones down the bottom are the newest ones. That's a bit stupid. You think it'd be the other way around? Well, we've got a medium uh, permit anyway. That's nearly done. Um, might as well get max these out. There we go. We've got enough computers. Yeah, there's a couple spare. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use these yet. 
Are they just decorative or do they actually work? No idea. Well, we've got this conveyor systems. Baggage claim area. Conveyor belts. And a baggage bay. Used for unloading and offloading baggage to and from baggage trucks. See, how, how exactly does the baggage work? I mean, obviously I'm probably looking at putting a baggage belt somewhere, but um, how do you kind of like hide it from passengers and stuff? Can you do like upper floor ones or lower floor ones or something? I don't know. It's... I mean, obviously we've got a conveyor belt. It's obviously got to go somewhere. But then does it need to be sorted or anything or what? I, 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 yeah, I have no idea. Because obviously I can't just put a, uh, put a baggage belt like... I don't know, just running along to a different department, which is probably going to have to be like here. Which is why I probably needed to leave a bit of space. So I'm probably going to have to put like a baggage... Like area somewhere so it can get loaded onto trucks which are then loaded onto planes or something and how how would you run that without it blocking the walkways that's that's the question for me I'll probably have to look at that area so obviously the baggage claim stuff is not that big of a deal I'll probably just have one like here and like one here or something but it's like how would I run the baggage so you can't put it along here so it can't intersect with anything like this it can only run like straight across I'm not sure that's something I'd have to check out unless uh, one of you guys have had a play around an airline lounge. The fans with a business and luxury passengers traveling with a certain airline can relax a bit before their flight. So a VIP section, basically. A buffet table. Okay. See, I want to know about the, like, the, the, the baggage stuff and things like that, because obviously... Um, when I build the medium one, um, I I'll, I'll kind of need to know, basically, because I'll need to bear that in mind with my new build, like when I'm putting all the walls and things in, because it doesn't really state whether it goes, whether it'll be like out of the way. I mean, if I literally just drag that across a room to go into a different room, can passengers still walk across it or what? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to know. Mm. It's either that or somehow... See, that would that, mean these are kind of built on the wrong spot, like, but it would mean I'd have to put check-in uh, maybe like up against a side so that the baggage can go straight into the back like this um, and then the baggage can then obviously go onto a road I mean I suppose I could move this and put baggage here so that the check uh, the checking terminals um, put the checking terminals like over here somewhere instead so the baggage can go this way Anyway, let's um, keep his research going and we'll start working on the um, the second terminal, as it were. Multiple terminal operations. What does that mean? Terminal area assignment tool. Hmm. 
Multiple terms and make sure your employees and service vehicles only take jobs in their designated terminal area. Upon completion of this RNG project, you will be able to divide your airport into areas. I'm not too bothered about that yet. A subway? Or de-icing permits. Okay. Terminal floors, stairs, escalator, conveyor belt escalator. That's probably what we want, isn't it? So that we can get it out of the way, basically. Gives you permission to build terminal floors and accompanying company structures such as conveyor belt, lifts, stairs and escalators. So we probably want that so we can get the uh, the baggage out of the way. Um, oh, it's only kind of three, three people on that, okay. And then this one. So now we've got remote taxiing. Um, what else are we going to need? I would like the belt, but let's go for... Oh, baggage security. Generic baggage scanner and baggage destroyer. High speed conveyor belts. Oh, I don't mean to close it, I just wanted to come out of that. A tilt? What the hell is a tilt tray? The routing of passenger baggage. Oh, I guess that like diverts them to the air, uh, the airline that they're going to or something. I can barely scroll down. Automation. What does it automate? Self-checking kiosks, baggage drops, self-boarding gates, automated passport checkpoint. Okay, that seems kind of risky. Let's go programmed route 2 so we can get even more research there eventually. As well. We can get 6 on that. Okay. Where are you? What are you doing? Yeah. The dog's up to no good. I'm bringing stuff down. Right, okay. So, let's, um, let's start with this stuff. So, where's the. So we've got. Did it have the taxi and stuff on here? I saw I saw like a new function somewhere. Oh, it had like that new star in it. No idea. Anyway, so a public public road. So the public road will be extended. In fact, I probably just want to build the terminal first, don't I? Um. So terminal, terminal foundation. Um, so I want to build it somewhere around here. Maybe at least somewhat equal in height to this one. So we'll leave a good bit of space here just in case I need to build some convoluted baggage claim or some. Sh yeah, um, and then we'll build a terminal here some sort um, I mean that's probably big but yeah if I want like cafes and things like that in there and the baggage so I'll go for that to start with yeah we'll just start with that I think that's pro that might be a bit too big, but it'll, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, okay, so. Somehow, we need. Um, let's, find, let's find the middle of that as well. That actually will be about the middle, won't it? Ish. It'll do. I can't even see where that's gone, actually. Somewhere there, there. So we're going to need doors, large doors. So we're going to need more taxi areas and stuff. In fact, maybe I should move them down actually. And we'll have staffs, toilets, that kind of stuff, baggage up here. 
Mm. I'll work it out later. Soon. Let them get building first. I can always move entrances about later. So how much space did I leave there? Just literally three squares. It's more than enough. Right, so one, two, and three. So it'll be there. I mean, I guess I could decorate outside, but in fact, yeah, let's let's leave an extra space for some trees and stuff. Pretty nice project complete. All right, so. I want the bigger fuel depots and stuff. There's project group three. I want that. Nine up to nine people on that. Nice. And then baggage security. It's costing us a fortune. I've got to be careful. Productivity is super high though. Security ratings stayed exactly the same. Economically we are earning money. Uh, but because I'm spending a lot on construction. Uh, we're going down, obviously. So this is going down here. Way about is it that one? To line up where that is anyway. Why do they have to come all the way up here to turn around? Road tunnels. Service tunnels. Okay. That's uh, slowly building it all. Looks like they're building the outside first. Project Group 3 complete. Nice. That was very quick. And Program Group 3. Let's go for the tilt tray then. We'll get ev everything to do with baggaging and stuff. It's four. Oh, I didn't assign any people to this, that's why. We can go for another one. Let's go for the conveyor belts, maybe. Nah. And now I want the depots and stuff. Bigger depots. There we go. Lovely. Everybody's busy. Still a couple of spare computers. Yeah. Probably gonna have to extend my fencing as well, aren't I? Let's get rid of this fencing because we're no longer need it. I, mean, I guess it's not hurting anybody, but still. Make sure that uh, animals and things can't get onto the uh, the runway. Object must be within the world. I'm gonna build it right up against the side then. It's quite a bit of cost. Um, am I gonna want to cover all of this? Probably. Depends how much it'll cost. Quite a bit by the looks of it. Might just have to let quite a few days pass. Let's get a bit of money. A 
Here we go. I'll put one here as well so they don't have to pass through there. Outside and then inside. Is anybody even on that security patrol route that I, I did earlier on? Look, it's showing it there. But is anybody even actually on the patrol route? I mean, the the, the car ones, they're doing that automatically. Because I've seen them doing it. Maybe just not at night. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's not him. Okay. Thought that was security officer then. Maybe I need more security. And I've got two people there, and then two people can guess off duty. Yeah, just sat down doing nothing. I think they'd be doing the patrols. I'd still like to leave the, keep see these stands a little fuller. We've got two aircraft setting up at once. See, we probably could do with an extra runway. We've got a lot of general aviation flights uh, taking up the runway for commercial flights. Another commercial flight. And I've got new stuff. Service car stop. Enables ramp agents to be transported to and from remote stands. Connects to service roads. Should be built near a terminal. And then the bus, uh, uh, shuttle bus. Okay. We've got the baggage stuff. Escalator down. Escalator up. So hopefully I can have it run underground. Yes. So it will actually go underground. Awesome. Will it actually let me look underground though? How, how would you look underground? Oh, there you go. Page down, basically. And up. So you can see what's up on the roof as well, look, air vents. Yeah, so we could actually put baggage in pretty easily, actually. Can you offer baggage services for these? Looks like it. Catering, cleaning maybe, whatever that is, de-icing. How is that vehicle doing? There you go. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and squeeze an extra, that, that extra runway up here. Um, and then I'll have to build an extra taxiway. Uh, build the taxiway out here instead. Um, oh, I need to connect these onto it though. Would it work like that? Would, can they taxi straight over? I mean, no, because it blocks off the entire runway when they're taxiing though, doesn't it? I mean, I could do that. I guess. Oh, no, okay. So it'd have to be that one. Does it not work that way? Oh, so it only connects to the side of a ramp. So I can't really put that there, can I? Um. Nah, I need more space then. I didn't realise that before. So I'm not going to be able to put another runway there. That's a bit of a, a nuisance. Seems a bit strange that you can only connect to the runway from the side. I mean, you think you'd be able to connect to it from the front. The 
front and back. Oh, I was just looking the wrong way. No. Yes, it's got to be on the side. Only. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't have enough room for another one. I could really, really do with a, an extra one as well, though. It's fine. Maybe when I buy this section at some point. We'll just have to share that one runway for now, unfortunately. Got this, we're actually getting quite busy with commercial flights. Morris built now, yeah. Right. Let's um let's start having a quick look at this, shall we? So we're gonna need So we're gonna need the second runways and everything. Um so is th is there actually gonna be enough room for us uh, the bigger runways? No, it's too long. Well, damn, I could put it there, look. <laughs> but that's, yeah. Okay. Oh, it shows where the small ones can actually be uh, done as well on the uh, runway. Interesting. I said, I don't, I don't really want to build it this, this way. Oh, it's going to need two sections. Though. The only other thing I could do is upgrade this one runway into a big runway and share it but that's just going to make the congestion problem even worse um, interesting problem see they're not going to be able to taxi off are they if I uh, I think the taxiing's got to be done near the bottom end, where the actual plane icons are. Oh crap, okay. So I don't really have enough space. I can't afford another section yet. So I may, I may have to freaking do a rebuild, complete rebuild, possibly to squeeze the medium aircraft in. Right. So the only other way would be to buy this section. But then it still wouldn't be long enough so I'd have to go this way. I mean I guess I could put the flight the things here. Then I could maybe put two runways for congestion purposes. That's probably going to be the quickest route to upgrading. And then I could slowly incorporate small and medium into this area. And then eventually I can buy this one and this one. And probably this one. Uh, buy it all basically. And put the large runways along here. So eventually the terminal will be here. Car park over here. Probably. That's kind of end game though. But yeah, we'll see. Um, right. Well, we, oh, we've got just enough money if I wanted to buy this. But obviously we need uh, a little bit more than that. Ideally. Alright all right, guys, I think I'm actually going to end the stream here then. Um, it's obviously, I guess, slightly early than normal, but there you go. So, what I'll do is I'll just let it run for a little while. Because we are in the positive. Um, in fact, speaking of which, maybe I should get rid of the, uh, the constructions as well. I think, well, 
I'll leave them for now just in case I want to kind of change a few things. I might maybe move them down, move everything down a little bit. It'll take a while. Um, but I'll try and earn a bit more. We're on the negative again, look. By quite a bit. What's the other expenses? Construction. Okay. Operations, the staff salaries. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll try and optimize this a tiny bit. Um earn a bit of money for next time. I'll try and try and get maybe up to a good couple of mills so we can buy this and build a few runways and things. And uh we'll build the medium terminal um in the next one. I mean maybe what I'll do is as I rebuild this, I might try to maybe connect. Um, I'll probably just put car parks and stuff over here. But what I'll probably try to do is I'll probably actually build this maybe as a part of this. I'll probably extend it a little bit here. And then build the terminal here instead, a little bit further in. So it's all like a medium and small aircraft terminal, something like that. I don't know. But yes, I'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little first look into Airport CEO, which was just released as version 1, uh, with a small patch on it as well by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, if you've got any suggestions on maybe how I should maybe do a layout, um, or maybe you've watched somebody that's... Uh, um, you know, going to be a bit of an inspiration, I guess you could say for me. Uh, you can always uh, let me know about them or anything like that down in the comments or on my Discord channel. Uh, give me some, uh, give me some pointers. This is a uh, quite, a, quite an in-depth, complicated game. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed watching and um, appreciate all the support. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see some more and follow so you don't miss out. And I will hopefully see you next time. I want. <laughs>